So match number 22 sees Denmark up against Australia. So Schmeichel will be in goal for Denmark. Fedstegaard, Bajalan, Christiansen, Kajar, Shona, Jensen, Eriksen, Delaney, Jorgensen and Paulsen up front. For Australia, Ryan in goal, Wright, Sainsbury, McGowan, Buhic, Jedniak, McKay, Moy, Cahill, Jurich and Lecky up front so welcome to the cosmos arena in samara where australia will get this match underway it's a second group game for both denmark and australia in the group c which also features peru and france who will be meeting shortly in that what's it is that offside jorgensen offside he was there flying in there with a diving header um but uh australia will get a free kick so, Denmark versus Australia. This will be the fourth time that these two sides have met each other. The last time they did was way back in 2012, where Denmark beat Australia 2-0 as a friendly. In fact, Denmark have won two out of the three times that they have met. Last time Australia won. 2010 but right here right now they take a they take an early lead australia got the bit between the teeth today and they take a 1-0 lead over denmark at the 2018 world cup jurich i think that could be his, his second goal of the tournament uh i have to check them check on that uh later but uh, yeah australia nice and early goal takes the pressure off and now Denmark have got it all to do. So if you're unfamiliar with what's going on, we two, we play two four-minute halves. We are simulating each and every World Cup game as Denmark try to get themselves back into this. And let's just have a little, little look-see at how uh, this result would affect the qualifying uh, campaign if the results go as is. Obviously, last time out, Australia and France were held to a 1-1 draw. That's right, and Denmark beat Peru. So, it wouldn't be too do doom and gloom as, oh, they, uh, Denmark nearly right back in that shot parried, and, the re and, and he was on it, he was on it for a rebound, but it was cleared by Australia. But uh, yeah, Denmark opened up with a win, Australia opened up with a draw. Obviously a win for, uh, for Denmark, and they would be pretty much into the next round, I think, and uh, Australia would have it all to do against Peru. We don't really have a good indication until the France-Peru game to see what really goes on. But Australia right now looking good for four points out of a possible six. And Denmark will be on three points. And there, well, you have it. Oh my goodness, Australia take take a two 0 lead now. Two goals to nil. Denmark really facing an uphill struggle now. Uh, obviously, it's not all doom and gloom for Denmark. They still have those three points. The Jurich with a second goal of the day. That could be goal number three for him in the tournament, as he is in the right mix for top goal scorer so far. If, if that's true, he will join the likes. Oh, I think Costa's got a couple. Uh, who else is up there? Mo Salah has got two. Denmark trying to force a bit of drama. But cool as you like, Matt Ryan. Is it Matt Ryan? Matthew Ryan? Brighton Keeper? Keeps him at bay. now building from midfield chipping away chipping away at the uh, Australian defense Denmark but uh, here come Australia now a third goal I would say it would be game over obviously uh, both sides scored in their opening game so that pressure of trying to find the back of the net should be gone as that was a beautiful pass I'm saying that's Moy what a player Moy is 
Australia piling on the pressure on Denmark. That would have been three if it was on target because that keeper was nowhere near. Schmeichel's having a mare. That's punted long. Again, dealt with by Australia. Ericsson needs to get, grow a pair and get involved in this game because right now they are struggling and they would have it all to do against France who have not really been at this tournament as well so far. I know they've only played the one game but Australia were on them and that, that shot is parried eventually cleaned up by the keeper. That's your four minutes. How much of extra time will we have? Denmark now, and that's your lot. Denmark nil, Australia two. Denmark will get the second half underway, and they will be looking for an early goal. Next goal, absolutely crucial. I think if Denmark were to get one, they could find themselves back in this game, but so go from Australia and it, you'd be thinking it's over and that's a good bit of pressure early doors in the second half by Denmark but Ryan's doing the business now maybe they can get a shot in on goal here it's blocked by the defenders Oh, poorly given away now. Maybe they can get something from this Denmark headed on, but cleared once again. Australia looking for that telling pass to get their strikers away, and that could be it. And in fact, that was a nasty looking touch. Australia catching a lot of the lucky breaks here today, so it could be their day. As I said that, here come Denmark. Throwing some passes together. Can he get control of the ball? They're still now turns and shoots. That's not a bad effort, not far away, but still 2 0 down. And they are running out of time to get anything from this game. Float it in there, Australia. Clean up house. So Denmark will go to, uh, to take on France in their final game where Australia will take on Peru. So it's not, yeah, it's not all lost by Denmark. You know, they could draw against France and that might be enough. We might have to get our calculators out to figure out who goes through, but it uh, gives them a chance. But this for Australia is massive. They could end up topping the group because of this if they do beat Peru. And I say all this, and you know, I say this with a with a with a, a pinch of salt because obviously we've only seen Peru play once, and that was uh, against Denmark, who managed to catch a lucky break, perhaps. So you know, if Peru do a number or even hold France, then it might look good for Denmark. But it'll look excellent for Australia. As they get another shot and that effort straight down the, the neck of Schmeichel. He'll collect this and boot this out. Last minute to go. It doesn't look like Denmark are going to get anything from this game. It's floated long. Easy for Australia's defenders to clean up. Nice to control. Here comes Denmark though. If they can just get a goal. It'll make the last few seconds very, very touch and go, but it doesn't look like it. If anything, it looks like Australia might get the third. An elusive goal that will uh, really wrap this game up. And that ball is pushed out of bounds, and Australia will have the throw, and you would think that is it, game over, even though there's 20 odd seconds to go, but I don't see it happening. Australia holding on turns and shoots have a go have a pop go crack it yeah 
Australia not really catching the breath. Maybe they can get a final shot on the way. No, it's dealt with. And here comes Denmark. It's too little, too late. As he tries to make a break past him, it is Denmark nil, Australia 2. So here's a look at the quick stats of the day. Australia had three shots on target. Two of them went in the back of it. Denmark had two. And obviously it ended up with nothing. Here's a recap of the goal scorers. Jurich with a brace. As for the fouls, nobody got a yalla. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.